Alright. Hello, everybody. I'm going to teach you how to custom FPS unlock and alt enter your Roblox game so you become much better at tournament grounds than you were before. Now that tournament grounds is FPS unlockable, I will give you an opportunity to unlock your game without even needing this thing right here. Look, deleted. I don't even need it, and I can still have FPS unlock. And I'm going to show you how to reduce your latency in one way, um, which will reduce it by a lot, and it'll make you play better. So, first, I will explain what this means. The FPS unlocking will increase your FPS on any given game to whatever your PC can handle. For example, my monitor is 144 hertz, or 100. It can handle 144 FPS, uh, which means it will basically run smoother than a 60 hertz monitor. Okay, and if you have a better monitor, that's great. They're really expensive, but you can check how to. Actually, I'll just let you search up how to check your own hertz monitor because I forget. You can probably just go to NVIDIA graphic settings and check there. But do that on your own time. It doesn't really matter. Uh, an increase in your frames will make you do better either way, because that's just how it works. I don't, I don't get to, I don't make the rules. Why do I have edge? Delete, delete that. I don't want edge. So, um, yeah. So FPS unlocking is good. Yeah, I'm teaching you how to do it, so you don't have to download the thing every time it updates. And but with this method, you'll have to re-put it into the file every time it, uh, every time Roblox updates. Sorry. And it's not a big of a deal as I promise it is. It'll take up less storage than the FPS unlocker, or all the ones you'll have to download, and it'll save the trouble of the malicious file. Whatever, it's easy. Also, um, with this method, it combines the alt enter fix, which basically reduces latency by focusing. Actually, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but it works. Like, you can ask people. Uh, I do it all the time, and it, I see a massive improvement. Some people don't, but I think you should try it and just see if it works for you. Because it works for me, and it works great. Like, I my latency on my cursor to my monitor is reduced, and the game feels smoother again, even with the FPS unlocker. So, uh, with that, I will get started. First, you want to open your notepad, and you want to type this in. Okay, type that in. And this is basically this. You need this to make sure the FPS unlocker works. Um, and then this is your target FPS. With mine's at 500, and I think mine will actually go over 500. That's just a random number. And this is the alt enter. Okay, and you want to have that at false. Just type this whole thing in. I'll put it in the descriptions to make it easier. Okay. Uh, save this. Client app settings. Dot JSON. Exactly as that. Okay, so dot JSON. Same capitals, all this. Okay, you want that to be the exact way it is. Save. Exit. Next, we want to put this into our Roblox file. And this will not edit your actual Roblox, it'll just do the client. Okay, so anything, ha like this won't get you banned or anything, it's just a normal FPS knocker. Okay, like it's just modern editing your client settings, which is your FPS unlocker. It changes nothing about the game, except for things that only you can control, which is why it's not bannable. So, to get to the Roblox file, uh, the easiest way I've found doing it is going to this PC, local disk, users, whatever you so admin probably, um, then desktop, where your Roblox player is, then you want to open the file location, boom, you're here. Okay. There's other ways to do it. You can go into a app data, local Roblox versions, and then go whatever version you need to go in. Um, these versions, so if you're on this version, this is wrong. This one is also wrong. You want to be on this one. It looks like this. Okay. <coughs> next. Okay, wait, let me delete this. I already did this, but next you want to type a new folder. Make it client settings. Exactly as I have it. Okay. Then you open this, and you're gonna want to put your, uh, you put your, uh, put your, um, 
your, what am I saying, the file here that you just downloaded in. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to open two things so I can drag it over easily. Like this, drag this into here, boom, there you go. Easy. And it's so much easier when you have the versions just pinned onto your quick access. So let me show you, like, computer just opened, file, versions, whatever version, like this, this will delete, this whole thing will delete after every Roblox update. So after every Roblox update, you're going to have to do this again. So like, I'll say again, file, versions, new, new version, and then you do your, you make the client settings file and you put this in. Yeah, I would just save a permanent copy in like a, like your Dino DMs, for example because that's where I do like I just put stuff in Dino DMs and it never goes away. So uh there's that and it's really easy, it's better than the FPS unlocker and like the one that you download in my opinion it saves a lot more hassle. So we're going to test this out. Let's open Roblox. And like I said, it'll reduce latency, it'll make your game feel smoother. Okay? And I'm going to show you that I'm not going to get banned from doing this because I think some people think that, oh, Bifron, you know, detect a change. No. Look, I'm in the game. Not sure what I'm wearing. Uh, shift 5. You can see my FPS is hitting like 200, 300. Um, it's going past 60. This is what it normally would be, but this doesn't count. This is just physics. It doesn't matter. This is what actually matters. So, uh, yeah, basically. Um, also, I did, uh, I'm not going to lie, I did a... Uh, a test run of this, and I told people that they were going to be my video, but I kind of messed it up. I did the wrong thing. So, I'm just going to say shout out to Grizzly Llama. I think you were in the video, and this guy, EBYZR, he was also, and there's one more person. Uh, Alright, no, I can't. I'm g I have to find this out because it's very important. This? Okay, this guy. Ravager. Eleven. It has... Where is he? That's a display name, so I want to find his real name. Okay. Mythical Franchise. There. There you go. That's everyone. There you go. Okay. And the alt enter. Let me explain this. So, sorry. I should have uh, done that the other way around. But alt enter. Basically, as you can see, when I press F F11, um, my game tabs out. Okay, you can see your, my my task man or my task bar here. Okay, the, you're defocusing the screen. But when I have this and uh, when I have Alt Enter, uh, like put into my client app settings, I just hold Alt and then press Enter. Look, I pr okay, you can't see it on my keyboard, sorry. But if when I press F11, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's not tabbing out again. Okay, and it, my par my screen probably went black for a second. That's because it's focusing in. It'll look different on your screen, but when you're pressing F11, you know it worked, and it's not tabbing out. You know it worked. Okay. And then when I press it again, you can press F11 again, and then boom, easy. Okay, and this this increases your um or decreases your latency, and it makes your game feel much smoother. It also increases your FPS. So right now, let's see what I'm at. Okay, so I'm gonna stare at the floor here. I'm hitting. Actually, I want I want to go lower. Like, uh, okay, say 390, 300. All right, thir high 300s. Okay, high 300s. Okay. Now, when I'm alt entered. Okay, high just high 300s. Okay, it's latency. Okay, I guess I got that mistaken, but I guess I'm going a little higher. Honestly, alt enter is just whatever you feel will benefit. It's like you can try it, and if it works for you, if it doesn't, whatever. But it works for me, so yeah, have fun with this and play tournament grounds. Okay.